All right, May 6, 2010 began as an ordinary day on Wall Street when suddenly the Dow Jones plunged 600 points in just five minutes, wiping out nearly one trillion dollars worth of assets. U.S. officials blaming that flash crash on a lone trader who worked from his parents' home in London. 36-year-old Navender Singh Saro was arrested on Tuesday and is currently in a UK jail. He allegedly made $40 million using a technique called spoofing to manipulate trading in the futures market. And now he's fighting extradition and faces a maximum sentence, get this, of 380 years if found guilty of all charges against him. Here to talk about all of this, Doug Burns and David Schwartz, both defense attorneys and former prosecutors. Stunning case and the fact that the long arm of the law right now can't get their man allegedly right. who did this, allegedly did this. So how do you make your case if you're the defense attorney on his behalf? Well, I, well, first of all, you have to ask yourself, what's wrong with the government to allow this whole world to exist? Think about it. The spoofing case is a technique used by um, technology, a spoofing case, to trick the high-frequency traders. Now, why do we have high-frequency traders in the first place that capitalize on these algorithms when, when traders like Doug Burns during his lunch break just wants to make a couple of stock <laughs> trades? And you have to worry about high-frequency traders but, but seriously, in your life. I, 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 go but, ahead, Doug. But no, I was just going to say, though, I understand David's point, but... I don't care what technology it is. I don't care if you're using a can with a string or ultra high frequency algorithms. The reality is the man was making it appear as though there were going to be all these huge trades and then he canceled them in a split second. That's just classic market manipulation. And not only that, Chicago Mercantile Exchange actually reached out to the guy and said, hey, wait a minute, you're doing something that's pretty dangerous and could put the whole exchange into jeopardy. So, and his, his reaction was, uh, allegedly, according to this claim, was kiss my you know what yeah. exactly. well so he's very if anything he was very bold very brazen, brazen. yeah so what? I mean, I mean <laughs> so what? So, yeah, so is that a legal term? So, so what? Trillion dollars because, you think, because, so what? No, because he's not being prosecuted <laughs> for being cocky during the phone call. The bottom line is, let's look at the facts. He stopped his algorithm about three minutes before this crash. We're working on one tenth of a second where he puts in these fake, um, these spoof trades that don't really exist, really to trick other people that are defrauding the average, uh, the average market player like myself. Really? So is, is that, is that the Defense going to work? I, I think it absolutely could work because it's the government. It's yeah. the government that created this entire environment in the first place, and he's just playing along with it. No, but the guy, David, with all due respect, the guy's putting in, you know, the indication, and he also did another term called layering. Okay, in addition, it's part of spoofing where you make it look like it's going to be 600, Not 800, 1200. Hold on, and then he cancels them. He knew at the time. That's why I'm making it simple that he wasn't going to do those trades, and then he personally profited. Not million. to mention he yeah. set up he set right. up a, a company called Milking. Right. So ah. he was, was, was he being brazen <laughs> yeah. about that yeah. or, yeah. or eponymous name? That, yeah. But he set it off offshore in the Caribbean yeah. islands. But uh, in this country, they still have to prove him guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. There were three minutes when it's you're manipulating when you're manipulating the market by one tenth of a second, and three minutes go by, and now the government they can't prove it otherwise. So now they have to come up with a theory that one person caused the entire. So you're saying he's being crash. scapegoated then? I think he's absolutely being. There are other reasons why and the Doug, stock market crashed. Why, why, would this be, why would this be different than Bernie Madoff? This is a classic market manipulation case, but I agree with David. He's right, and we were talking about this, which is they're trying to blame this guy individually for the May 6, 2010 crash right. that you alluded to at the outset, right. Kelly. I don't think he can lay that on his heels, but I do think he manipulated the market for his own gain. Let's see them That's prove the case. Forty million to what dollars. What they're claiming. So it's a fairly strong case, I think. I hope he challenges the government to their proof. I hope he challenges them and let's see them prove that he caused the market to drop by 600 points. You should hire this guy. I tell you what. <laughs> oh, thank you, Doug. Like his style. <laughs> I'm never in trouble, but except I need 40 million dollars. Thanks very much, David <laughs> thank and Doug. You. All right, Julie. All right, I Profits at U.S.